This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in Oslo, and behind me here, finally, Lucid is here. I've been waiting so long for it, and it's here. So this is the Grand Touring with the biggest battery pack, 112 kilowatt hour, and uh, I'm going to do just a quick review now, my first impression. So yeah, I've watched some videos uh, in US, but this is going to be like my initial reaction on things. I might need a little bit of help to open some stuff. So uh, I would guess, but okay, let me see. So I would just, I guess we'll start here. Well, actually, let's start outside. So um, actually the, this Lucid is shorter and smaller than a Model S. Uh, what is the length, by the way? You see, I get the impression that it, it seems to have shorter overhangs than the Model S, and also, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so um, they say that it has good space despite being somewhat small-ish, right? It doesn't have to be too big like an EQS or a Model S, but still quite big. So let me see. Uh, we have some cameras here. We'll look at some cameras. We have, oh, interesting, we have a camera there, huh? We have a camera there. There's the camera everywhere. Is this a chart port? You see, Lucid, they know a thing or two about uh, electric cars, and they put the cart port on the left side with the right side, not the right side with the wrong side. However, this is quite deep in there. Hmm. Is that going to be any problem with Ionity or some plugs, like Chem Power plugs? And also, I'm not a fan of having the chart port there. It should be on one of the corners. This could be problematic on some of the tritium chargers with short cables, especially. Yeah, all right, let me see. How do I close this? Okay, I haven't figured out everything. <laughs> How do you close it, by the way? Well, the inside, right? Oh, you have to close? Yeah, I think we did, I'm not sure if that works. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, can you, can you, okay, close it, please. Can you also open the front, please? So the, this car has motorized front. Yeah, <laughs> it just, I don't know, man. It just looks so gangster when you can open the front with a motor. And look here, the first thing I was thinking like, wait, we can fit a banana box in here. Wait, there is more. How many banana boxes can you fit in here? This front is huge. Like, I have never seen a sedan have so big front before. You know, this is the way to do it, guys. Like EQS, BMW, you know, i7, there is no front. Tesla has a front, but it's not that big. It's as if they've been smaller and smaller because they put in more and more stuff here. But here, wow, humongous front. Uh, I guess you have to close it from the inside also, right? Or... Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so let's see. And then, okay, we have cameras over there. Uh, we have, hmm, let me see. I'm just going to poke at stuff. This is probably something, some kind of um, uh, roof rack, right? Okay, yeah, so we have a roof rack placeholder there. Look at the interior. Is this real cow leather? Okay, you see, they don't go vegan over here. They actually use... We also have a vegan option. Oh, you also have a vegan option. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so you can extend this one. You have to do that in the screen. Let me try to sit in here. Okay, we have curves. Oh, look at this. We have a round steering wheel and stocks. Interesting uh, placement on the things. We have the screen here. You can swipe here to open up this one. So you have lots of space here in the middle. Uh, okay, interesting. We have this kind of, uh, I would call it, you know, the, the uh, similar to Volvo and stuff, you know, it's like text, uh, textile surface. But you can have this in many different trim levels. Okay, here we have center console, lots of space. More space here. Okay, feels uh, quite spacious. Oh, you know what? When you press these buttons, there is this perfect resistance and just the sound. Oh, okay. Oh, oops. I, yeah. Okay. But. Oh, I don't want to drive. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just saying that the buttons, the way they react when you, when you do stuff. It's, uh, it actually feels nice. 
it should feel nice because it's a freaking expensive car. But uh, well, I, I did something here. Okay, um, I'm not sure what I did. I, I think I started H back. So um, okay, uh, how do you turn off the? Okay, I'll just uh, no, that's that's a speaker. Okay, but all right. So um, yeah, uh, let me see now if I can adjust my position a little bit forward. We need, also need to try this one. It has, you see, soft close. That is the fastest soft close I've ever seen. You see, do I figure out how to open it? I do. Every, you know what? I haven't watched too many, too many uh, Lucid videos, but somehow I managed to figure out how to open and close stuff. And uh, I guess there is an adjustment for the steering wheel here, uh, or maybe not. Okay, at least that one I could, couldn't figure out. This one is interesting. Oh, okay, so. Oh, it extends, nice. So why is it, how do I open this one? There, there, there. Yeah, see, I can figure out most stuff, how it works. I have to say, the seats feel nice. What about headroom? Oh, you see, we have glass, and unlike many other cars I test with glass roof, um, the side beam kind of gets in the way here. You actually get decent headroom here up towards the glass and in case you are a longer person i will show you roughly if you are a tall guy you will usually have it further back and then how how will that be let's say okay this is really then you are long like morgan long yeah you almost touch here but dude i have to say the finish on everything here is on a different level and okay for, versus tesla yeah versus EQS and even the i7 it looks and feels very nice I have to say okay I have to walk through all of this later so uh, yes but um, wait where's where's the glove box by the way uh, is there is there a glove box uh, oh it's also done there nowadays there is no button for glove box anymore we have massage there glove box okay so we have right glove box here let me try something yeah okay okay it sounds nice so manual air vents to control them like this um and then okay let me see let me go in the back wait okay like this i, I want to check out something here so you see this is the one with the biggest battery pack uh so in the front i felt like the seat position was uh, good no plenty of uh, of space there but how is it in the back so this with a big battery has uh, you you fill up kind of this this uh, this place here, but uh, if you go for the smaller battery, this is the 112 kilowatt hour. If you go for the smaller uh, 93 kilowatt hour, you will then have a deeper well here. So you can, and then because the first thing I noticed when I sat in this one is that let me try to show you. I didn't bring the tripod. I think you sit something like this. I, I'm overdoing it a little bit, but you can kind of see it. So it would be better actually if we had just. 10 centimeters deeper well and that is what you get with a smaller battery pack but the seat position will still be the same oh okay oh it's not the best but actually at least you have roughly two fingers of headroom there and yeah the same thing here is that you see here the beam here is not too wide so you can actually utilize the glass here and also many many cars you have this beam kind of <laughs> You have it right where the, the heads are, and then your tall people are kind of bumping into that one. This one, they actually managed to push it far enough so you can utilize the glass. And then when it comes to the center console here, see if I can figure it out. All right. We have a table and stuff here. Cup. Uh, yeah, of course, they have thought of everything. Ski opening. Hmm. Wait, is this perforated stuff? Yes, perforated seat. And oh yeah, yeah, of course, I forgot. We have controls here, of course. Let me check here. This is an opening for putting some of your stuff. Uh, where is the USB-C, USB-A? That one, I'm kind of missing. We have air vents there, air vents here, adjustable seat belt. Uh, it, it seems to tick all the right boxes. We have a handle, at least from the rear. Okay, we are missing the, the, the coat hook. We have speakers there. Wow, let me see, let me see. Let me do the door closing sound. Okay, let me see. Do we have like an emergency release? Doesn't seem like it. It seems like this is the only door handle and you open. Okay, okay. 
All right, but then, wait. Does this one have some kind of curtain that goes up? I can I see that there is some um, something there. Ah, oh, it's that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I feel like this is like I seven style. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. You know, uh, does it also have a rear curtain? Yeah. And how do you enable that? Okay, you do that on the screen. Okay. So wait, can you can you do it for me so I can show as so I can see? Oh, you actually do it in the back there. Ah, of course. You have the controls for the the executive seats in the back, and then you just control everything there. Oh, we have to. Okay, okay. So you can show that one, and you, I can show. Meanwhile, while he's uh, enabling it, I show you that the back. It looks freaking humongous, and let me see. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can do it, uh, but okay. <laughs> oh, there, there, there. Oh, see, it has a screen with lots of settings here. And for some reason, it goes off. Maybe we have to sit here. Yeah, we have to sit here. There's, we have a pressure sensor, so we have to sit here. Sunshade. Ah, oh. extend rear sunshade. Of course, you want to have that uh, sun block. Oh. That is nice. Okay, okay. Anyway, let's move over to the back here. So, the rear here has this unique opening. It is so wide. Look at this. The first thing I, when I saw this was like, I need to test and see with a laser what, what we're talking about here. Can you put the ski here or something? Let me see. Um, wait, what? There, there, there. Okay. Um, I need to find out. No. Hang on. What was it? Where's the. There. There. Huh? Dude, we, we're talking about 1.7 meter width. Okay, I mean, you can't get a ski in there, but 1.7 meter is <laughs> humongous. Now, I don't have a baby stroller and stuff with me, so I, eventually I, I'm going to borrow this car and do a proper test. But I need to test something here, okay? We have one little bit 103 centimeters there okay what about in the narrower place here then at least then we have still 107 106 centimeters wow okay and then here also you see um we have this opening here and then it actually becomes quite a big well interesting opening uh, i wonder how i can fit baby stroller here because it's uh, it's this kind of opening. <laughs> I'll find out eventually. But well, this is the biggest trunk opening thing I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, but the whole car also looks quite slick and aerodynamic. Let me check something here. Uh, okay, we're gonna close that one. Um, it actually has two cameras in the back. Wait, it has two backup cameras. Huh. And then here, you can fold the seats. Uh, how is this again? There, you just pull it, and you pull this one, and you fold the seats. Well, I mean, since we are at it, let me also measure here. What kind of length are we talking about here, roughly? Uh, 192 centimeters. This one is slightly forward. Then we get roughly two meters. Oh, this is a big car, that's for sure. Let me close this one. Now, did, I, did I check the door closing sound let me do it again on this side because I tend to use a soft close but okay it has that boom. so you would just have to get used to it it's not the typical conventional door you you get used to but yeah so um I have to say let me check something else here we have rubber seal there rubber seal there Oh, 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 is this Alcantara or flip leather? We have rubber seal there, rubber seal there. I don't know, but we need to test soundproofing here. I bet this car is quiet, just based on my impression. If they make something like this, this kind of interior, they should make it silent. Man, I can't wait to test it. Uh, supposedly, I'll be able to test it in a couple of, uh, within some months, I think. And they're going to let me lend, borrow it for an extended time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Soft close. And let me check something else here. Do we have um, headlight washers? Nope. 
on, uh, is this a radar or the LIDAR? LIDAR plus radar under here somewhere. Oh, no, no, here's the radar, of course. And radar. is it also heated? Sure. Hmm, cool. And then let me check something else here. I, I, I actually wiped inside of the showroom, but I'm going to check the wipers. Yeah, seems like the nozzles are on the wiper arm. Hmm. So, you know, it seems to tick the right boxes for Norwegian. So it's still March here in Norway. And you, you see that we are at the Carl Johan. So people are walking by here and they poke at and they look at their car. And at least it's not open yet, but soon they will open it for the public. And people will look at this car and they will figure, they will wonder, is this good for Norway? Well, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> I will give you guys input on how it is. So let me check something else. Let me see. Yeah, humongous wheels. 245, 35. Actually, it's not that big. No, no. This is actually similar size as Tesla Model S. Yeah, 245, 35, 21. And then, uh, do they have staggered? Yeah, okay. Yeah, 265. Yeah, and then, by the way, if you want to come here and see, you will see the drive unit. This one, the motor with inverter here. It's super compact. There are some figures here. And actually, they use the same drive unit for the front and the rear. You can see that the, the front, uh, the, the rear here has been laid down. And then the front, they have actually put it vertical. And then, man, you guys have to come here and kiss this one. It's the wonder box. It does so many things. It's, it has onboard charger. It has the junction box for DC. It has the um, two-way two onboard charger. And in Europe, you get 22 kilowatt. And you also, yeah, vehicle to grid, but also vehicle to vehicle. And it also does 50 kilowatt DC conversion to f uh, 800 volt in case you need to charge on 50 kilowatt. So everything in this tiny box here, <laughs> like, what the heck? And then here we have one of the modules. I think. You see, you see, they also use cylindrical cells. So also I can show you that when I mentioned the, the uh, height for the passenger in the back, uh, this is the configuration with smaller battery. And you will see that you have a deeper well for your feet. So if you're concerned about uh, that in the back, then you should go for the one with the smaller battery. You still get massive range. So yeah, I, I haven't tested Lucid yet. Um, I will actually get to experience a short drive now, but from what I've seen, what I've heard, and what I know, uh, you know, the guys behind Lucid, is that, how do I put this? Um, my guess is that this is going to be quite awesome car. Um, EQS and the i7, they have awesome interior, but the drivetrain beneath is, um, uh, might not be the best, you know, it might be like messy code. Uh, they implemented something, but just, just for an example, EQS doesn't even have heat pump. They are getting heat pump now. Uh, but I think based on what I know, the Lucid, it has like awesome efficiency. And the way they implement hardware here is just, you know, on a li different level. It's actually very close to how, or similar to how Tesla do it. So uh, I think they have something stuffed here that stands out that Tesla doesn't have, and then Tesla might have other stuff like Octoval. I don't know if this one has Octoval, but yeah, uh, what I'm saying is that I can't wait to test this, and it's probably going to be one of the most efficient cars I've ever tested, even this size, yeah. So anyway, um, I think that's it. Just a short uh, intro and show you guys my first impression, and I have to say it looks and feels really nice and it, it feels well built but we had to test it of course properly and see how it can handle it in norway with the charging with everything 1000 kilometer challenge banana boxes i need to do everything with this car so anyway i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later